Hi, welcome to Coding Manasa channel. Uh, in today's video, we will uh, try to understand why only life science graduates are preferable for uh, doing this medical coding. Okay, why not non-life science graduates? See, the basic difference between life science and non-life science is what? Human anatomy and physiology understanding, knowing. Okay, uh, because uh, life science graduates were might will be already trained or they'll have some knowledge about human anatomy and physiology anatomy means internal structure of human body and physiology is like uh, organs and their functions okay functioning of the organs is said to be physiology anatomy is internal you know structure of the organs okay human body is said to be human anatomy if that is known it is easy for a person to understand uh, what are the diseased conditions of the organs and uh, you know what are the procedures services done uh, you know to decrease the diseased condition of the organ that means treatment options done by the physician okay this is the main point why life science graduates are preferable a lot of people are asking me questions uh, uh, you know sending me emails why only life science graduates are preferable and why not non life science graduates so this is the point but some institutes what they are doing they are even taking non life science graduates okay and they're training them in human anatomy and physiology it's not that difficult to understand human anatomy and physiology it is you uh, people uh, who are studying human anatomy and physiology do a study with interest okay you are knowing about human your human body and their functions okay and their, what are the disease conditions caused uh, you know by different organisms or various other uh, causes for the disease okay if that is known it is easy to code ICT 10 cm okay uh, then uh, uh, and what are the treatment options you know like surgery see uh, if you see medical terminology isis synthesis okay uh, if you if you know the prefixes and suffixes of certain diseased conditions, okay, it is easy to um, uh, you know um, guess what is organ affected and what would be the treatment options. Okay, uh, it's not that difficult. So uh, I hope uh, this uh, video helped uh, you in understanding why only life science graduates are preferable and why not non life science graduates. Even non-life science graduates are trained in uh, human anatomy and physiology and are CPC certified and uh, they are prospering in their career uh, in this field. Okay, uh, so basic qualification is not a, uh, you know, what they'll say, setback, okay, in this field. If you know human anatomy and physiology, that's enough. Even non-life science graduates who are CPC certified are being placed into uh, different placements in by various companies okay uh, so I I hope this uh, video helped uh, for people to understand why only life science graduates are preferable and why not non life science graduates uh, in, in case still you have any query you can write to me thank you so much